because we've had a number of questions asking about what individual people can do. Someone even noted how, you know, oftentimes our institutions fall so short, but the challenge is that forgiveness is a personal responsibility, whereas justice is a collective responsibility. Um, so can you maybe speak more to what steps individuals can take um, in their, whether it's in their workplace or their friendships or their communities or their advocacy to uphold this standard of justice? I don't know. I mean, I, I think, you know, first deepening on it and understanding it is, is one stage because, you know, I hope anyone watching felt as I was reading those quotes that there is a different heart impact and a different mind impact than me interpreting it. You know, I'm just pontificating. I'm trying to um, understand with my inadequate brain, my inadequate spiritual development and my inadequate words what all of this means. But going to the source is really where we'll get, I think, deeper wisdom, both on an intellectual level and on a heart transformation level. And, and so I, I feel like that's an important piece of it is just really immersing ourselves in contemplation, discussion, understanding, and then reading of the original text. And again, the faith, the Baha'i faith is rich with quotations. I've only read a few, but that, you know, further digest and dissect forgiveness and justice and how all this works. The Bible is also full of amazing concepts. And again, I think if you read Martin Luther King's writings, which were theologically rooted in these exact same concepts in um, Christianity, there's a lot of richness there. Um, but then it's about implementing it. But I do think both have to happen at the same time um, in the Baha'i faith there is a vision that's articulated in the Baha'i faith around how to create social change. And that's also a really cool thing to, to unpack, but, but the soundbite version of creating social change from a Baha'i concept is that it requires both changes at the heart level, the individual personal spiritual transformation level, and at the societal institutional level. So we need better laws on the books. We need, and this is also true with the justice system. I didn't talk about that before, but we have a lot of laws that really stink that were written, you know, in the 1800s or uh, frankly, even 20 years ago that still really stink that we have to redesign in order for things to be equitable. However, even with those laws in place, if we have people who are racist and sexist or prefer wealthy people to poor people, look down on people who need help and, and believe that only those who don't are worthy, then it will matter that we've got great laws on the book, on the books, and we'll still have problems implementing justice. So we need both of these things. We need like personal transformation and then we need societal structural change. Mm 